All right, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna learn how to take our plastic components from this and get them ready to 3D print. So to do that, I'm just gonna turn on, open my bodies folder up. I'm gonna turn on my assembled and my flattened bodies. I'm gonna open my sketch folder and just hide the pencils case, DXF for now. Um, and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm actually gonna hide the flattened stuff. I don't need this flattened stuff. I'm gonna zoom back in over here on these. Now the two things we need to 3D print are these plastic pieces here. Let's open up our assembled bodies folder. And that's, I think, the back end. Yep, there it is, the back end and the front end we need to do. Now if you remember, we made these identical. We actually mirrored them to make the other one. So I really need to send one of them to Prusa. So I'm gonna come over here and do Save As Mesh. So I right clicked on the back end or the front end, either one, they're the exact same piece. Do Save As Mesh. When this Save As Mesh fold our window opens up, I'm gonna say Formats 3MF. Make sure it says millimeter. If not, ask and I will help you fix that. Um, and then refinement should be high and I'm gonna say okay. It's gonna ask me where do you wanna save this mesh file at? And what we're gonna do, you're gonna search over here for the one that says E and R, 3B or 5, whatever, you, whatever computer you're on. So it should say E and R to start with. If you don't have a folder in there with your name on it already, click the new folder button and create a folder with your name on it, and then save this in there. For me, I'm in my right place, my, my pencil case already. I'm gonna name this back end and click save. All right, that's all I needed from Fusion. So I'm gonna close Fusion, I'm gonna open Prusa Slicer. To find Prusa, I can just type here and type in P-R-U-S-A. There's two Prusas, there's the viewer and the slicer, you want the slicer app. So I'm gonna open up that one. A few things I wanna check on. So let's give it a second to open up. I wanna make sure my print settings say 0.3 millimeters draft. If not, come down here and do 0.3 millimeter draft. I'm gonna make sure my filament says generic pet G and my printer says original Prusa i3, MK3S, and MK3S Plus. If it doesn't say these two, if either of these are incorrect, click on the printer and come down here to add remove printers and add remove presets. That's gonna create a window like this probably. You're gonna click install if that window pops up. Otherwise, just keep rolling. When this pops up, you're gonna click on this first printer and then go next through the next series of things until you hit the filament one. Click on pet G right here. Um, actually go back to all type. Click on none first to erase all of the ones that are already on there. Click pet G and then come down here and find the one that says generic pet G and then click finish. At that point you should have the correct printer in here. If not, ask, I will help you. All right, so next we're gonna do is go file import and we're gonna choose this top one called import STL 3MF step. We used a 3MF file, so we wanted this one right here. And we're looking for the one we just saved, which for me, for you, it's gonna be over here in the E and R folder somewhere inside your named folder. And for me, it's gonna be in my Google Drive, Engineering One, Fusion, and Pencil Case. And that's the back end. It's a 3MF file back end. I'm gonna import it right there. Awesome, so that's one of the two pieces. To create another copy of it, I'm gonna come up here where it says copy and click on copy. And then right next to it, click on paste. That's the second one. I'm going to actually auto arrange those. And now if I print them like this, this is not gonna print well. You can see they're kind of barely touching the print bed here. So what I wanna do is actually knock them over. So I'm gonna do place on face command. I'm gonna come over here and I'm working with the green one right now. I'm gonna place it on this flat face like that. Now I'm gonna click on this other one. Now I'm working on this one. And I wanna click on this face right here. And now they're both flat. But they're also overlapping each other in a weird place. So I'm just, before I do anything else, I'm gonna do a range. That'll put them back centered really well. All right, I just clicked off of all of them. So now I can kind of see them. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna slice this now. So again, I'm gonna make sure I'm on 0.3 millimeter draft and do slice now. Give it a second for it to go from yellow to orange. That means it's done slicing. And now I'm gonna use the arrow keys on my keyboard to arrow down and take a look at the layers. 
So if I zoom in here, I can see that wherever this like blue is, the purple is fine, it's gonna be solid infill. So that's gonna be um, just plastic that's gone in there. The what's problematic is this blue overhang stuff. Now this is not gonna like printing this, but it's gonna be able to. This is the reason that we added these walls, these two walls in here, is this way when we print, it can print across this blue line and then connect it back over here. It won't be a beautiful print, but it will work. And as we come up, well, you can see now it's gonna get a little bit ugly because now it's gonna have to do two of those overhang perimeters. It's not gonna be able to put this plastic on and then there and there and there. It'll be a little bit of rough stuff there, but I think that'll be, that'll be fine. We'll live through it. And then the rest of it looks like it's all fully supported from below. So each layer is on top of a layer below it. So yeah, I think it's the best way to print. The next step is to go to the printer you wanna use, grab the SD card and bring it back to your computer. I'll do that right now. All right, so I've got my SD card. I'm gonna put it into my computer. When that happens, for me, this window pops up, but I don't think this pops up on your window when, you, when it happens. Um, down here, this little button showed up. So I'm gonna click on this button. Make sure that this is on a Prusa card. The one that says E and R is not the right one. You want the one that says Prusa something. This one says Prusa I3 NKS. That's our printer. Um, and you're just gonna name it here, something that makes sense to you. So I'm gonna call this Haza, put my name in there so I know it's mine. And then um, pencil case. Awesome. I'm going to leave the rest of this information there for me for later. And I'm just going to hit save. When it's done saving, this will pop up and just hit eject. Pull the card out, put it in a printer, and get printing. If you need help with those steps, let me know. I will help you. Great job. I think that's it. We're going to do some assembly videos later.